All right, guys, check this out. Uh, this was on the SDO. This usually, you know, chronicles the sun and things that happen on the sun. Well, there was an eclipse. They said it was the moon that came across. This is the first image that came across. And the circle that you see on the screen that I'm showing you here is actually the size of the first object. So the size of the first object was measured according to this as it went across and many had said it was the moon okay well there was another object another object and you see how that perfectly fits there you go perfectly fits into this circle now the second object comes by and you'll see here in just a second how this object is actually smaller now in light of what happened and this all happened within a very short period of time within about I don't know, maybe a day or two, two days. There goes the second object. Now, that object is obviously a different size. I'm going to show you right here. The circle that chronicles the size of this object next to the object that came in earlier, a few days earlier, is different. And what is it? That's what we want to know. What is it? Now, the observatory that article that I put out that shut down all of a sudden and there everybody's wondering why they shut down uh, the local police department has no clue the FBI was the one that came in and shut down that city's astronomy center many are saying it could be something look at look at the difference in size you see the bigger the bigger circle that was the first object the second one obviously is a different object it's the same camera the same view the same distance investigate the closure of the National Solar Observatory in Sunspot, which was unexpectedly closed last Thursday with no explanation given. Sunspot is located about 15 miles south of Cloudcroft, New Mexico. Christina Guaya joins us now with more on the investigation from the New Mexico Mobile Newsroom. After coming up to the Sunspot Observatory for ourselves to find out why it and the post office remains closed, we found that many officials remain tight-lipped about the reasons. We also ran into quite a few locals and people traveling from out of town, driving straight up to the entrance of the observatory to find out for themselves what exactly is going on. We heard it was closed and decided to see if it was still closed. There is a buzz going around in both Sunspot and Cloudcroft over the sudden shutdown. I don't know what that is. I just heard about that today, some uh, cloak and dagger thing that's going on up there, and I actually have no idea. Does it concern you at all that the FBI is investigating it? A little bit, yes, but there's lots of pranks, and so that's probably what it was. I reached out to the FBI, but they did not return my phone call. The FBI did speak with local law enforcement about the length of the observatory closure. They spoke to uh, our sergeant initially and indicated that they'll be down for a few days. So that could be uh, anywhere from a few days to, to months is f from uh, my past experience. The FBI did not, however, tell Sheriff House the reason for the closure. As for the post office in Sunspot, a spokesperson with the USPS told me they were left in the dark as well. <laughs> Well, uh, we were told on September 6th that uh, we'd be evacuated along with the surrounding area. We weren't told why that was the case, but uh, we were told to just be by the area. When I asked him who told him to evacuate, he told me... That we don't know. And as for a timetable for reopening the post office... No, that's still up in the air. Uh, we will remain suspended until we're allowed to return. 
Sturgeon did tell me, however, that post office employees were transferred to the Cloudcroft post office for the time being, and regular mail service is being offered for residents through the Cloudcroft post office as well. We'll make sure to keep you up to date on air and online at kvia.com with any new developments we find. Reporting from the Sunspot Observatory, Christina Awayo, ABC7.